Hi friends, this is Jackie Williams and I want to share with you today another quick and easy to do birthday card for you. And this is our project for today and we will be using the Happy Wishes stamp set. This is a celebration item. So this is available January, February, March 2018. And this one you can actually get for free. But this is one of the bigger gifts and so your order needs to be 220 or above and you get this one for free or there are some smaller gifts that you can choose a couple of in lieu of one of these. You can also combine orders with a friend in order to get this one for free. So let's get started. There's just a couple of simple techniques on this project but it's quite fun. So we will start first with the um, I want to say the petal palette papers. They might be called something slightly different than that. And this whole pack is black and white, which is great. Black and white's really general and um, nice to use, but it also gives us the option of coloring in the white portions to create customized color combinations. So today I want to use powder pink and flirty flamingo. You could use a, a sponge, excuse me, or even a sponge dauber, but I'm going to choose to use a sponge brayer for this. So opening the powder pink, just going to brush some ink onto the sponge and just run it over. Now this is a very light color, oops, which is nice for subtle effects, but that also means that for this particular thing you'll want to put on several layers. With this sponge brayer, you get virtually no lines or any um, demarcation between the layers, so it's pretty forgiving. And then I'm going to give this just a slightly ombre look, so I'll go ahead and put some of this flirty flamingo sort of down at the bottom and run those two together. Maybe a little bit darker down here at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so you'll get something like that, which I think is quite nice. Then we will layer that up onto a, I'm just finding my adhesive, onto a panel of pink pirouette, which is different than the original sample that I showed you, but I just, after um, making that first one up, I decided that it needed just that one more layer to it. And then this can go ahead and go onto our card base, which is just a piece of thick, Whisper right, whisper white. All right, now let's make our happy birthday sentiment. So we'll just grab a little piece of whisper white. This is two and an eighth inches by four and an eighth inches. And where's my stamp? We'll start with the happy stamp. Now this also we're gonna give an ombre sort of look. So this time I'm gonna pull in my powder pink, which I still have out my flirty flamingo and a sponge dauber and berry burst and a sponge dauber. So what I'm going to do is first just ink up the stamp with the powder pink, then taking my sponge dauber and the flirty flamingo, just adding a bit of pink kind of into the bottom of those letters. And then with the berry burst, I'm just going to sponge in on those flowers, those beautiful flowers that are down here at the bottom of the stamps, of the image, I mean. And then we're going to put that onto our little panel, and I want that kind of more over to the right hand side. And I just love how that turns out, and it's so easy to do. And then we'll just throw on our couple of other words, and this time I'm going to use the black. Now this particular font, it's really easy to get them stamped upside down, just like I did. So just check on a piece of scrap paper first. It's, it's a really nice font, but it's very hard. That one's upside down too. It's very hard to read the stamp. I might not have given myself quite enough room. Oh, that's good. I'm happy with that. And then we're going to just layer either side of that with some little strips of the powder pink. You could cut you could cut a, a whole piece to fit behind, but I had some little scraps, so I thought I'll use those up. And it just shows you another way to use all the little strips that we tend to end up with. 
I've got a few stray ink marks, but we will cover those later. And then we, the reason why I left a little space here was um, just to add some black twine. Let's wrap that around three times and just tie that up. Twine is really forgiving and easy to tie, so if you're not confident with the ribbon, this is a um, good place to start, and they're very inexpensive as well, so bonus. There we go, and we'll just add that to the card front with dimensionals. And you can just sort of see where you like it to be. I want to be, show some of that transition between the two colors. Oh, I got quite a lot of ink on there. All right, you see everyone does it. So then I decided it kind of needed a, a little bit of a black border. So this is, this is an extra. If you want to add a black panel onto the back of the card, you can, but it actually looks fine without it. And then the last thing is we will add some embellishments. Now on this one, I used the light Calypso Coral marker and colored up some pearls. On this one, I thought I would try some of these um, glitter enamel dots. See how those look. I'm going to need a fairly good size one. The nice thing about these is that they have uh, different sizes and different colors. Throughout, I just have partial packs here, but so you can get something that really matches what you're doing quite well. So I'm not going to think too hard about this. I just need to cover up some of these blobs, these mistakes I've made. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, something like that for the moment. And then if you would like to, you can add just some little bits of the fine tip glue onto these beautiful flowers. I'm just adding some dots of it. You could be more generous if you want. And we'll add some of our um, dazzling diamonds glitter. Can't forget that. Okay. Then inside your card, you'll want to just add a little bit more. I have hope you have the best day, which is also in the stamp set. And you see, I just did the same sort of thing with the, with the um, best word as well as on the front. So I hope you've learned a couple things and we'll consider giving this quick and easy card a try. Thanks for watching. This is Jackie Williams. Bye.